Anyone there? <gasps> ah! Shoo! Get away from me! No! My favorite scrunchie! Stop! Get back here, you thief! Fair warning, Katie. I'm super fast. We'll see about that, Leo. Three, two, one. Jetpack, Jetpack activate! activate. Woohoo! And the winner is... Huh? Me! I won! Hi, Junior Ranger Zari. What's up? Hi, Leo. An animal took my scrunchie. Scrunchie? What's that? It's a hair tie that keeps my hair up. Like this thing. Then why do you need the other one? It's not the same. My grandmother gave me that scrunchie. Oh, no. Did you see what animal took it? I'm sending you a photo right now. Hmm. What animal is this? Let's use the computer to find out. Sure, Katie. I'll be right up. See you later, hero. <laughs> Find out more about our thief. It's a Malayan Kalugo. The Malayan Kalugo, also known as the Sunda Flying Lemur, is a nocturnal creature, which means it's mostly active at night. It's found in forests, usually clinging to tree trunks or gliding from tree to tree. So despite its name, it doesn't actually fly, it glides. It can do this over really long distances. Malayan kalugos are herbivores that feed on leaves, leaf shoots, and flower buds. Okay, but if it can glide over long distances, it might be far away by now. I must get my scrunchie back. Don't worry, Zari. We'll come over right away to help you. Ranger out. Let's go find the kalugo. See you downstairs. Ranger Leo all set! Woohoo! <laughs> Junior Rangers to the rescue! Platypus One, activate! Here, Here we, go. we go! Hey guys! Hi Zari! Any luck finding the Kalugo? No, and the forest is huge. I've got this. It's a special flashlight. Red light won't disturb the Kalugos as much. Now let's see. <gasps> it's a bird. Look, over there. A uh, squirrel. A scrunchie? There it is. It's the Kalugo. It's getting away. Jetpack, Jetpack activate. activate. I'll get it. No, I'll get it. You won't get away from the fastest junior ranger ever. Whoa! Guess that makes me faster. <laughs> That's a bat, hero. The Kalugo is over there. I got it. No, I got it. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> Ow. Oh, no. Did you get it? Where's my scrunchie? Sorry, it got away. No! How are we ever going to find it? Huh? Is that a bird? A giant bat? No, it's... Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What are you doing here, Ranger Rocky? I'm patrolling the forest to make sure the animals are safe. What about you? It's quite late at night. We're looking for a Malayan Kalugo who took Zari's scrunchie. The scrunchie is very pretty with flower buds. Wait a second. Flower buds! The Kalugo must be hungry and thinks my scrunchie is food. Then maybe we can lure it out with some snacks. Not so fast, Junior Rangers. It's not always a good idea to lure wildlife with food. It may lead to a change in their behavior. Kalugos might get too friendly with humans. And that could be bad for both the animal and humans. It's especially bad if they're fed human food, which could make them sick. Oh, I guess this is it. Goodbye, Grandma Scrunchie. Don't give up, Junior Ranger Zari. Let's find out more about the animal. 
My friend Ranger Charlene can help us. She knows all about the Malayan Kalugos. Hello, Ranger Charlene. Hi, Ranger Rocky. Hi, Junior Rangers. Kalugos are my favorite animals. So Kalugos are really special animals, and uh, there are only two species in the whole world, and uh, Singapore is home to one of them. So Kalugos are nocturnal, so they're, they're active at night, and they have big, beautiful eyes to help them with excellent night vision so that they can glide safely from tree to tree. So the Kalugos skin that happened all the way between its hands and its legs actually help it glide from tree to tree, and it also helps to keep its young nice and snug. Kalugo young actually already have very sharp claws when they're born and so the babies actually can cling onto the mothers really tightly even when they're gliding from tree to tree. So when rescued Kalugos uh, come to us, we give them a full health check and we pay special attention to their nails because Kalugos need really sharp nails to be able to cling onto the trees and also to climb and to glide. So if the Kologos have really worn nails, what we do is, is we give them a manicure and we sharpen their nails until they're razor sharp so that they can then be released back to the wild. That was interesting! Thanks, Ranger Charlene! You're welcome! Ranger out! Ranger out! If the Kalugo has good night vision, I don't think it mistook your scrunchie for food. I think it was just an accident. Oh! What if my scrunchie is still on the Kalugo because it couldn't get it off? The Kalugo isn't the only one with good night vision. We can use Hero Cam. <laughs> Let's find the Kalugo. There! Uh oh, it's in trouble! Careful. Got it! Hello there. Oh, someone needs a manicure to sharpen her claws. I believe this belongs to you. My grandma Scrunchy! Thank you! Bye, Bye Kalugo. Kalugo! Mission accomplished! We help Zari get her grandma Scrunchy back from the Malayan Kalugo! Leo! Ready for a rematch? You bet! First one to reach the house wins! Get ready! Three, two, one! <laughs> Good job, children. Huh? You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs> I guess Hero is the winner. <laughs> <laughs>